One of my goals on this channel is to uncover hidden gems. So I'm not always gonna be reviewing the most popular shows or the most obvious shows. And in fact, in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the 2017 Taiwanese romance drama, The Perfect Match, starring Chris Wu as Ting and Ivy Shao as Fen Ching. You can currently watch this on Netflix or on Viki for free. This show is centered around a Michelin star chef who's disgruntled by the internet comments that claim that a popular street vendor is just as good as him. So he sets out to go find this so-called street vendor and this is going to lead us into a whirlwind of events including some incognito rich boys, some bachelor style living arrangements, a little bit of betrayal, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But before we jump into it, if you're thinking about watching this show and you want my honest opinion, skip the spoilers and go straight to the final thoughts section of this video. Let's talk about the standouts. I really liked Fen Jing's character. I thought she was honest, I thought she was hardworking, but she was very realistic in her assessment of her own skills. She knew that she needed training from Tang despite her pride. And I really like the fact that, you know, she didn't just take everything he said for Holy Grail. And she even taught him a thing or two. It wasn't like he had all the power, you know, the power dynamic was very even, I felt, from the beginning to the end. I like the side story between the brother and Gina. I, you already know I love side stories. And it was kind of set up so that the viewer knew about the love story from like a mile away, but the actual characters were oblivious. And I feel like this definitely mirrors real life and the fact that like sometimes what we need is right in front of us, but we don't see it because what we want is all we can see. We have like these blinders on and we can't see what's actually good for us and what's not good for us. So I, I loved it. I was here for it. I love the best friend character. Obviously he was there for comedic relief and I feel like he nailed it. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. Let's talk about the flops. The whole situation with the two girls living in the same house, that was super cringy, wasn't it? It was like the tone of the show felt more realistic, more plausible, but the whole like battle for the guy in the house, it was just, it wasn't doing it for me. And I feel like the show had plenty going on. I really didn't need them to have this whole like living together situation. Now, granted, this is how the love story between the brother and Gina kicked off, but it honestly could have kicked off regardless. I really don't think that it needed that aspect. I felt really bad for Shao Wei. I felt like his character was never moving on and even though he accepted defeat, he was still always just like clinging to her, right? I wish they would have given him some closure. I wish he would have like met somebody new. I wish he would have like worked on his own projects. I wish he would have been something other than the endless support system. I feel like he deserved more. He was a good guy. The one scene when he kisses her for the first time and she's like, this is my first kiss, like, <sighs> I mean, I thought we were past that. I guess, I guess this is 2017, but in 2024, it would be super outdated to say that a 26 year old has never been kissed. I, I just, it's kind of a stretch for me and the whole like innocent girl falling for like a fully blown adult, that feels very dated in Asian dramas at the moment. My final thoughts. I think people sleep on Taiwanese dramas and they really shouldn't. This is the perfect example of a Taiwanese drama with a really rich storyline, tons of twists and turns. It had great acting in it. I think the show will keep you entertained. And if you like Chinese dramas, you can experience something that's a little different, that has a little bit of a different flavor than the typical mainland Chinese dramas. I'd say this Taiwanese drama was a gem in my books and you should definitely go watch it if you haven't already. And that is going to bring us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one.